Another fun episode of Garage Topics here. It's your boy. This is always fun buying a vehicle. I've got the trailer and tow and the Tundra, and the Tundra is freaking great as always. This is a very special buy for me. This is a vehicle I've been hunting for, let's be real, uh, 14 years. By the title, you already know I'm picking up a classic Bronco, but little did anyone know here, uh, classic Bronco is the first vehicle I ever drove and ever worked on and my dad had one and uh long story short we sold it in 07 ish for like 4500 bucks for a no rust freshly like sort of freshly painted but reupholstered bronco like that same bronco today it's like 50 grand plus and so i've been looking for years for one but over the years they've just in increasingly gotten stupid expensive and i've just continuously been chasing them it could never justify owning one because, like, just to get one that sort of resembles a Bronco is in the teens and the 20s now. For something that doesn't run, it's rusty, it's gross. So I, I look every now and then. I found a couple of deals here in 2022, and that's what led me to decide to sell the Corvette. So I sold the Corvette, and then when I sold it, one popped up, and I was like, this is the one. So what talk with the seller, uh, agreed to come pick it up. I asked to see if he wanted to deposit. He was like, no, I'm good. The morning of, I'm, I'm like about to leave and I technically would have been 30 minutes early. So I messaged him, hey, I'm gonna leave now. It's like an hour away. I'm gonna be 30 minutes uh, early, is that okay? He tells me it's sold. It was crushing. And at, at that point I was so over this Bronco search because I've done it so many years and just keep getting disappointed based on looking at one that's a deal and finding out it'd be a rust bucket. Like if I had tons of money, like this would be easy. I could have just bought a Bronco and be done with it. But I'm looking for a reasonably priced one that isn't a complete turd of a vehicle, but I can still tinker with it and make it my own. It's very hard to find a reasonably priced one. Long story short, I work for Holly. We're having Ford Fest coming up. I was trying to find a $500 Ford to share with some buddies to take it on the off-road course and just thrash on it. And then when we're done, donate it to the junkyard or something. But uh, because I've been searching for Fords the past couple weeks, the like default Facebook Marketplace recommended products showed me a Ford Bronco with that had posted 40 minutes prior. I thought it was a scam. I messaged the guys with my phone number. He called me right up, and I was like, if I don't act on this right now, this one will be gone like the rest of them that I've tried to find and catch. It's like catching Pokemon. I drove up that night to Nashville, like 9, 9.30 at night, placed a deposit on it, and now we're two days later going to pick it up with a Tundra and a trailer. So that's a story. It's a lot. Um, this vehicle is one that I'm buying without the intentions of selling. Sometimes I buy them firsthand knowing I'm going to sell it kind of soon. It's like I want to experience the car, have some fun with it, sell it, move on. This one, uh, there are no immediate plans to sell it at all. We're on the drive now, Nashville traffic. Uh, we're about to hop into the Tennessee border because Bowling Green's less than an hour from now from Nashville area. Uh, I'll show you when we get there. Fingers crossed, all's good. The master I'm judge. Holy cow. Made it back drama free. Man, this thing is so cool. I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to buy one of these things and do this. And the fact that it drives up on the trailer by itself is I did not think would happen. I thought I'd get one that had to be winched up because it was super rusty but and didn't run, but this one runs. It's got a little rust, but it runs. Real nice. Let's gotta unload it now. back in the garage which i haven't even shared a video of this garage but it's coming i've got a whole build series coming along but i just wanted to share this bronco because it is freaking cool so part of this building of this garage is i want to be able to build cool projects and make videos of it and this is the start of it so let's let me show you what it's all about all right so this is a 1973 ford bronco it is fresh af 
I've spent some time looking at it, so I've had it almost two days now, and just looking it over, there's some things that are better than I thought it was based on the listing and looking at it first, and some things are worse, so I'll talk a little bit about that, but I've never driven this thing, so I'm actually going to go take it a, a quick drive around the neighborhood and bring you guys along to show what it's like. I'm finding out a couple things, so you see all this weird stuff on the side, half of it is wax, half of it is primer. So like this yellow stuff is just wax that someone didn't take off. The reason I found out is if I get it wet and fingernail it, it goes away completely. And you can kind of see the swirl marks of a buffer. Really weird. But then when looking closer at this, you can tell that this thing has been repainted at some point in time because the original color of this is uh, candy apple red, I believe. It looks a whole lot nicer underneath this not so good paint job. Um, but it's got a real neat patina and I'm gonna keep it patinaed for as long as I can until we do full on restoration stuff. But for now, I just wanna enjoy it. The front grill is from an orange Bronco, but it looks good because it kinda of goes with the whole rust vibe. I'll show you the worst part of the rust, which I can't even show you because it's that bad. These are notorious for rusting out basically everywhere, but really along the pillars. The driver's side pillars where the door goes in is fine, um, but this one is bad. So this side is fine, but literally where this hinges attaches to inside no longer exists. The only thing holding this door in is the latch of the door and you can kind of see how it's sagging there a little bit. So you gotta take the fender off, put a new piece of metal in. That will probably be my first project other than cleaning it up because you can see it's been sitting underneath a tree for a while. The guy that was selling it uh, was an awesome guy. He was selling it on the behalf of his friend that passed away. So he got it, cleaned it up as best as he could. And he did a really good job representing it. I really couldn't have bought it without him. Um, but so like, it just needs to be cleaned. But man, this is cool. The, the only reason I was able to get this is because the guy selling it was such a straight up guy. And he called me back when I gave him his phone number and we were talking about the price. He was like, yeah, it's probably a little underpriced what it should have been. But we both agreed that I would not flip it because I'm not trying to do that with this and actually keep it and fix it up. So I'm really excited. But let me show you the interior. So this door is fully functioning and fine. And what I'm re referring to is that these rust out real bad. This one's fine on this side. And someone's I think has replaced this one in the past, so it's fine. But where those hinges attach to on that passenger door does not exist. But holy cow, this interior is real fresh. If you could smell it, it smells like a moldy tree um, boat is the best way I can put it. it Got some moisture in the the carpet that's been here for almost 50 years. You can see the original color of this Bronco and the dash of the doors. What a cool color. It came based on the codes in the VIN and the glove box. Had a brown interior. Passenger seat's really good. Rear seat's immaculate. Driver's seat, the actual back of it's fine. It's just the base. So for a quick solution, I may just look at replacing, getting a repop of the bottom or finding another one, maybe a passenger side one and putting it on here, but not too bad in here. It is odd that the white's here. I don't know who would have done that, but I don't think someone took it off and put it back on to do this. It might've been a custom order thing. The, the hard top is okay. It, it is rusting. It might not be worth fixing myself because you can find these pretty decently, but um, man, yeah, the gauges, the cluster and dash is in real great shape got a real old school stereo. Again, if you could smell it in here, you would smell some real good things. This manual here is like a what you write into all of the maintenance you'd, you would do. There's literally only one page filled out. An interesting thing is, is that it only goes back to 2003 with 42,000 miles on it. But then the last time something was inputted to here was 16 with 49,000 miles. So this thing right now has just a tick over 50,000 miles. I'm guessing it's rolled over once, but who knows based on that. It has very little mileage on it and the engine runs great. There's some rust on the floor in the back. I'll show you, I'll do a whole thing about the rust, but man, look at these cool ass stickers. Some of them are political, whatever. I asked the previous owner, uh, the guy who was selling it, the previous owner actually went to some of these national parks. If they did, I would have kept them on, but he actually didn't. He just had been there with another vehicle and slapped them on. So I'll probably take them off. These tailgates are kind of pricey, and it looks like this one has actually been replaced, so that is a huge savior. The wheels and tires are actually in really good shape. Uh, I don't know how old they are, I'll look at the code, but they look brand new. They don't have any dry running on them. And the big piece here with these is that 
you don't want the frame to be all rusted out. Sure, it's got some caked on mud and such, but it is solid through and through, which is really good. Uh, let me show you the engine, then we'll go take it for a quick drive. On these old Broncos, you pop them right here. Find a little thing. Oh, oh. This has got a 302 in it from Ford, powered by Ford. It's got an automatic transmission in it, a C4. It starts and runs really good. It's got a little bit of an issue at idle when it's cold. That probably is tunable, but based on that log, some of the ignition stuff is being replaced recently and some of the fueling. This radiator looks somewhat new and it's got a brand new battery in it. So this thing actually runs quite well, which is incredible. Most of these Broncos, when you find them not in pristine condition, just don't run at all. So pretty cool. It's got the original jack. Again, you can see the original red here, which looks really good. Um, but yeah, it, of course it leaks. It's a 50 year old vehicle, but barely leaks anything. Probably the oil paint gasket or the reman seal or something. But again, these are really easy to work on. So stoked for this thing. Let's uh, stop talking and go give it a drive. All right, give it a cold start. This thing actually has two sets of keys, but one of them is the original key. I don't know if you can see that. It's got the original Ford logo on it. Super cool. All right, it just needs a little gas when you first start it up. So nothing wrong with that. help for me to keep, keep it idling for the first like minute once it gets warm but it's incredible and so i'm going to try and put it in reverse now just to get it out of the garage and I'll just fume it up in here but i don't know if it's good enough at idle so you still gotta get some gas and your drive I decided to keep it out because it's hot and I've got AC in the shop spoiler alert but look at this thing in the sunlight she just glistens whoo speaking of speaking of glistening whoo them things are hot man this thing is really cool and again it's just surreal to see it in my driveway to be honest with you it'd be even more surreal to see it on video but dang that thing is freaking cool and again, like you're seeing it in the exact condition I bought it. So I'll give it a spray. Most of this side stuff will go away and it'll hopefully be red and a cup of red and rust. The interior, um, probably just gonna rip out the carpet and power wash it and get a rubber mat for now and then obviously replace this dash pad because it is awful. But, oh yeah, the seat tipped over, that probably didn't help. All the bolts are all labeled in that center console with, in sandwich bags. Incredible, incredible. Well, that's the look at the Bronco. Like I mentioned, I'm in the middle of editing a whole bunch of videos on the shop, so 
be on the lookout for those, but I wanted to get this video out quick because I'm hyped about it and I wanted to get some footage out and share it with you guys. And if you got any questions or recommendations, now's the time to drop it. Uh, if you want to see more videos, let me know. You probably all do. I've got some of the Tundra coming up soon. That thing is fresh. I've had it over three years now. So I'll make another video of that. SS is still there to haul kids around a lot. And then the shop videos. Those are going to come probably next after this video. So be on the lookout. Uh, if you want to see more of the Bronco, more of the other cars, more of the garage build, feel free to subscribe. Leave me a comment and hit like button because it's going to help the old algorithm and help your boy get more content to you guys. So really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for everyone's support and patience as I've been kind of in this hiatus in the past year. But things are on full steam going ahead from now. So looking forward to it. Catch you guys later. Peace out.